everything that I get from you guys tonight is going to help piece everything together. Is Chase Manor haunted? Absolutely. There's rumors of investigators being poked, punched, scratched, and even choked out. Okay. You hear that? Yeah. Like, is, is that on there or was that in here? I think it was in here. It was my first time ever hearing a disembodied voice. It was terrifying. The portal session was really strange. Is there a little kid in this room right now? Where's Billy at? Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi, Billy. That was super creepy. This is a little kid. Can you turn off that flashlight? We actually caught something very strange on camera that we can't explain. If we move it, will he go with it? Can you come over here and touch the room plug? Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. All of a sudden I felt everything in the room just shift. There's no activity now. I felt like I knew that something else came into this room. Billy, is there someone else in here? Should we be afraid? So the barn is actually one of the darkest spots on this property. Someone's coming. Knowing what happened in that barn made me uncomfortable. Who's coming? Is it, is it Vincent? Vincent. He's coming up the stairs oh. in the barn. I heard things come through that even shocked me. What I felt in that moment is something I've never felt during an investigation before. I swear I just saw something behind you, Tommy. You what? I don't even have them. Hiding in the dark. You <laughs> just said that. Oh my so god. Anxious. <laughs> no. Rem pod. <gasps> Did you step away from Jessica. No. What's good, YouTube? We're back, and this time we're staying at Chase Manor in Auburn, New York. In the late 1700s, this property was actually awarded to George Weaver. He was a Revolutionary War soldier. And he actually farmed the land until the 1820s when another George, George Casey, took over the property. Casey, in return, then sold it to Captain George Brown Chase in the late 1820s. 1830, his son actually ended up finishing the construction of this home, who was also George Chase. So as you can see, Lots of Georges have owned this place. So there's a lot of mysteries at the Chase Manor, and many of the hauntings go back to the early 1800s. From doors opening and closing, to phantom gunshots, to children playing, to attacks on investigators. This place has a lot to offer. So the barn is actually one of the darkest spots on this property. Now the barn was built in the 1700s, and people have been physically attacked and held down in there. There's rumors of investigators being poked, punched, scratched, and even choked out. There was actually a brutal murder that took place in the barn. A man named Vincent took eight kids in there and slaughtered them. We just learned that as we arrived. We didn't even know that. That's not even on me. <laughs> yeah. So that's a messed up. Interesting fact. And then there's the yellow room where a woman is said to have hung herself in the closet. So this home is actually owned by Lorna Reynolds and she is not only a psychic medium, but also a hypnotist. And she absolutely loves this home and it was abandoned for a while and she decided to take it over and basically make it her baby. Lorna seems like a very awesome person. We had a chance to talk to her for a bit when we first arrived and she loves this house and she seems very connected to the ghosts that are here. So we're very interested to see what we can capture tonight. So I'm Tommy Tombstone and I'm here to communicate with any of the spirits here tonight and learn their history, their story, and see how much they talk about Lorna. So I'm Cassie with Weeping Willow, Paranormal, and Reese on the camera. I'm just hoping to make contact and if anyone wants to talk to me, it's cool and Reese too. I'm Rochelle from Rochelle G and uh, I know it's very original, but uh, I'm here. I can't stay away. I'm pretty much always here and uh, I am just Really excited to experience whatever happens tonight. I'm Lorna, and I'm the person that has Chase Manor uh, after 17 years of it being empty because of its hauntings, and it's been definitely a journey going on three years now. So, and I'm really glad to have you guys here, and still exploring the history and what's actually taken place here and why the hauntings are going on. So everything that I get from you guys tonight is going to help piece everything together. Who are we speaking with? Oh, 
want to do that? You want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> that was clear. <laughs> Can we hear you? Can you hear us? There's also this other device over here. If you come up and get close to it, it will light up and make a noise so we'll know that you're here. Okay. I promise it won't hurt you. We're just here to communicate. You know what her name is? Who I'm pointing to? What's her name? Are any of the kids here tonight? Where's the children at? Oh, but Tommy. Is that something Tommy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk to Tommy. Tommy's a kid person, right? Can you tell us how many of us are in the room right now? Can you tell us the number? How many people are in this dining room right now? Try again. Can you count? Can you touch one of these other devices to let us know that you're here? We'd really appreciate if you gave us a sign that you're here with us. Can you make a loud noise? I heard a nice voice. Is there um, specific spirits that like come to each room? Like, do they hang out more in one room over the other? Actually, no. If they get annoyed, like if you guys are upstairs and they get annoyed, this room will get like freezing cold and they'll just kind of like fill this room. Oh yeah. So you know, but they're basically all over the house. So they'll tell you what room to go to next. Okay. I don't know. Basement. Say basement's good. Yeah. Do you, Do you want us in the basement? That sounds like a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a little kid in this room right now? So we have Lucy and <laughs> where's Lucy at tonight? What about Billy? Where's Billy at? Oh, hi. Oh. Hi Billy. How are you tonight? Oh my god. That whole body chill right now. <laughs> we literally said like here's Billy. We all heard the same yeah. thing, obviously. <laughs> Billy, what are you doing tonight? Did you see that boat I got you up in the toy room? Is Billy still here? Is George here? We got George Chase here. Who's out in the barn tonight? Who's out hanging out in the barn tonight? Talk to the most. Oh, it just went off. Yeah? You there? You just touched that? Did you all go voice? upstairs? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard a voice. That was a little kid's voice. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was one of you guys. No, what the fuck? Did anybody tell me to scram again? No. No. Oh, it was no, like it was over, over there, right? There. Yeah, super it was a little yeah. kid. I thought it was your stomach. Oh, my camera went pick that up. You heard that. Thank you. Right next to me. <laughs> it's like so cold. <laughs> Sit next to you anymore. 
Did someone just did someone just enter the room? Yes. Are you standing next to me? Yes. You're okay. (laughs) Hiding down by my legs. Did you hear that? Yeah, there's a little fucking there's, kid. That was yeah. a voice. Yeah. Is there a little kid in here with us? Get out, get out. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it's my legs are really cold. This one's underneath the table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like my right leg. Yeah, no, I, I, I heard, heard something over there. Yeah, did you yeah. hear it? Yeah. Are you, are you, are you, are you a little boy? Who's under the table? Are you under the table? We have another child under the table. Yeah. It's cold right here for me. Yeah. Like just this leg. I've never heard a voice before. I know, so clearly a kid's voice. Oh, yeah. It's very unsettling. Yeah. There was there was little kid voices. Yeah. It was like in the room. Yeah. Like, it sounded like in that oh, corner or something. Yeah. yeah. And you heard it too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna try some EVPs. If we can get any of the anyone to talk. Perhaps like the children, honestly. So I'm gonna set mine down here. Cassie's gonna set hers there. Is is Billy in here still with us? Can you come up to these little recorders and say something to us? Can you tell us your name? Who was under the table? Are you still in the room with us? Is is Billy in here still with us? Can you come up to these little recorders and say something to us? You hear that? Yeah. Like, was is that it, on there or was that in here? I think it was in here. What was that? Jesus. Yeah. Ugh. It was upstairs, right? It sounded like it was coming from the library. Yeah. I just did it again. Yeah. And it's in like that direction. That's crazy, we all heard that. Mm-hmm. Usually it's like one person hears this mm-hmm. and it's like, wait, mm-hmm. we're all hearing the same <laughs> stuff. <laughs> session was really strange. I liked it actually, it was really clear. It did say some really strange things. We were hearing voices coming from rooms behind people over top of the portal, which I had personally never experienced before. It was my first time ever hearing a disembodied voice, it was terrifying, and it was so clearly a kid. And then it got really intense when everyone heard like the conversations that were coming from either the parlor or the library. Definitely there was a bunch of voices. It wasn't just one person hearing these things, it was all of us. Even the camera people were hearing the voices. It almost sounded like it was outside, but it was clear as day, sounding like little children playing around. That was super creepy. The response that stood out to me the most was when Lorna was referring to a kid named Billy. Clear as day, I'm Billy, and everyone heard it. And it seemed like there were kids underneath the table, and it was really odd. here in the attic for our first little session of being broken off in groups. We have multiple trigger objects, two flashlights, 
REM pod, pebbles, pebbles. We are going to try an open spirit box session and see if we can get anyone to communicate with us. So let's begin. Just for context, there are a group of people in the basement, which is three stories down, and in the barn, which is a totally different building, and that just went off. <gasps> Can you do that again for us, please? Could you touch the red pod for us? We would love to see that light up. It's been so long since we've seen it. It won't hurt you, we promise. It just shows us that you're in the room with us. Can you please do that again for us? If you don't want to touch the REM pod, you can touch one of our flashlights. No way. So in the attic, there's absolutely nothing up there. It literally, it was just us and a bunch of beams. And when we had been playing with the flashlight and asking the entity in the room to turn the flashlight on and off, we actually caught something very strange on camera that we can't explain. You see, just past the flashlight, behind the beam, something pops up really quick and then ducks down. And you can see it on camera. And I don't know what it is, and we don't have an explanation for it. There was no one else up there with us at all, so it wasn't us. It was just the three of us on the one side of the room. There was definitely clear movement behind the flashlight. Like I said, there's nothing up there. You guys have a closer look at it and tell me what you see. Thank you. Can you turn that off for us, please? If this is, if this is a little kid, can you turn off that flashlight? Thank you. What's interesting is that Rochelle G has actually caught a picture of an apparition up there before and it looked like a little kid. And the fact that we thought we were speaking with a kid, it kind of checks out that it might have been a kid. To you... double confirm your kid, can you come over to this REM pod and make it light up pretty colors? Thank you. Thank you. Could you touch one of our flashlights again? Just because we want to confirm that you're here with us. We'd love to see more communication from you. You're doing so good in the dining room. All right. So this device in my hand is going to allow you flashlight. Thank you. Can Thank you turn you. that off for us, please? Are you going to speak into a recorder for us? <gasps> oh my god. It's oh, why are we working again? It's Thank you working. so much. Can you get even closer to that and see more pretty colors? Dude, you have no idea how excited I am about things working yeah. again. Mommy said it would work here. You did. You promised us that. Okay, I'm gonna start this recorder. And if you have anything to say to us, you can speak into this device in my hand. Or you can touch one of our other devices. We have flashlights, cat balls, and you can keep touching the REM pod for us. Thank you. We're gonna do the whole ask questions, leave about five, 10 seconds with me. Are you a little kid? I'm just gonna start this one. Is that a yes? You've never seen that work happen? I've never seen that work. Can you tell us your name? My name's Tara. Is this Billy that we're speaking to? If this is Billy, can you turn the flashlight back on for us, please? Is this Lucy? Oh, it's 
with that Lucy Billy then. I kind of went on and up to Well, I think you traveled to Flashpoint and then you know, you went. Can you travel back to the REM pod for us, please? Can we get you touching that again? Show us that you're Billy. Oh, Thank no. you. No. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, let's let's play tag with the flashlight and the REM pod. Can you go back and forth twice? Oh my god, it went off. Can you touch this REM pod? Touch your toes, please. Are you being shy? Can you turn the flashlight back on? Oh, oh it's yellow. Oh. No way. That's Thank awesome. you so much, Billy. You're doing such a good job. All right, now stop. Stop touching the REM pod, please. Just for a minute. Can you touch the flashlight for us again, please, Billy? I think he likes the colors. I think yeah. he likes the colors. If you like the colors, we have a cat ball. And over here. Here, I'm just gonna place it down with, so we can reach it. Holy shit, I've never seen this work once. No. Okay, this has pretty colors too. You wanna touch that for us? Yeah, it'll light up just like that. Oh my god, he stopped oh the ground pod. Now come over to the cat ball, please. Make the cat ball light up pretty colors. I think you need to touch something else. This is nuts. Do you have any idea how excited I am that that thing's finally working again? I'm telling you, like, that it just doesn't work as often as the flashlight's flash on. Are there... Is there more than one spirit here? If there is, can you turn the flashlight off? Wild. If it's just one spirit, can you light up the other flashlight? I don't even know what to look at. I'm more excited oh. than I am, like, afraid. How do you feel? Okay, actually, not scared. Yeah, that's good. Do you like hide and seek? Do you like hide and seek? Can you light up one of the flashlights? Did you guys hear that? What? It was walking in there. Really? Yeah. But it won't focus on you. Were you having trouble focusing, Jess? Yeah. If you're still here with us, can you give us a sign? Light up one of the flashlights, or touch the REM pod, or the cat ball. Oh, there Thank it you. is. Thank you so much. You're doing such a good job. I wonder, um, I want to test this out. If we move it, will he go with it? We should try. Let's maybe move it down to the other end. We're going to move it, okay? And we want you to follow it. Can you do that for us? I hope you everyone else is, colors. I hope everyone else Flashlight. is getting something. Okay, we're going to move it to the end. We want you to do the same thing. We have all the pretty colors for us. Just to double confirm that you're here with us still. Can you come over here and touch the round pod? Oh <laughs> my oh god. god, that's amazing. Thank you. Can you make it light up to blue by getting closer to it? Please. Put your hand right on it. Please and thank you. Did it go off at all? Yeah. Oh. Yo, I'm so excited. <laughs> You're stoked. This is amazing, thank you. You can touch the long job. silver thing and it turns more pretty colors. Just grab right onto it. Yeah, put your hand around the black part. I'm not trying to trick you. She's like, don't talk to me. I'm not trying to trick you. I just want to see all the colors light up. You'll really like it, it's pretty. Okay, my favorite color is purple. I really want to see the purple light on this. You need to get really close for me to see it. You want us to back away a little, maybe? Yeah, give you some space. Where are you in the room? Okay. Touched you. Flashlight. Over there. 
All right, now can you come back to this REM pod and show me the pretty colors? This has not went off for us. Since the summer. Since summertime. It is now February. And it's like six investigations yeah. later. So, I've done three with you guys. I've never seen it work. Yeah. Until now. And it's not just going off like once or twice. It's continuously going off on command. It's doing what we ask. Yeah. How about the cat ball over here? It's so fun. What if we roll it? To like... Yeah. Let's do that. We're going to play a game. We're going to roll it to you. Can you roll it back? Or just light, make it light up. Let's so wait for it to stop. Okay, so there is an uneven floor, but it's gonna stop. Can you make it light up again? Or roll it back to us, please? Flashlight. <gasps> no oh, way! I have a mage. Oh my god. That's great, thank you. Can you do it again? Can you do that again? It's amazing. Can you do it again? That's too low for us. Oh can my you, god. Can you roll it towards me? We can play catch. We'll roll it back. We'll roll it back and forth. Can you do that for us? I know it takes a lot of energy. You can take it from us. I I feel like someone else just came up. I don't know how to explain presence? it. Yeah. Is there another presence here with us? Like I just got a really heavy feeling. Billy, is someone else in here? Someone else is in here. Can you touch the rum pot or the cat ball for us? My throat. My throat feels so tight, dude. Is it choking you? I don't know, it's not choking, but it's like it's weird. Billy, is there someone else in here? Should we be afraid? I'm really cold. Billy, are you still in here? There's no one in there now. No, he must have got scared and left. <laughs> I feel like it's something. I feel like everything's crazy right now. I'm not even kidding. And I don't get anxious. Grand Pod and Capital's not working now. Billy, are you still in here? Oh, Billy. she told us to ask him to step aside politely if we want to talk to the other spirits. Billy. Is this Vincent? Yeah, I feel like it's a man. It's I very... just got chills all down my legs. Me too. I'm freezing. Vincent, if this is you, can you turn off the flashlight? Who's up here with us? Oh, the flashlight went off. Vincent, is that you? Give us a sign if it's you. So now that these aren't going off, we're gonna lose your flashlight. Dude, is that not weird? Yeah. I feel something come up here and now and we then get everything nothing. Stops. Because he probably got scared and ran away. Yeah. Oh, I liked Billy. I liked Billy too. <laughs> Is there somebody else in here? Ow, my thing on the ground just changed. It doesn't touch. Who is in the attic? I feel uneasy. So I started feeling really strange in the attic partway through. We had so much activity with the REM pod and the cat ball, and it really did feel like a child's energy. I thought that was really cool. It was the first time that I ever experienced anything that wasn't filled with fear. So yeah, I thought it was interesting how they were answering on command. It felt really playful and light and friendly, and they were doing exactly what we wanted, like going from the REM pod to the flashlight to the cat ball. And then all of a sudden I felt everything in the room just shift. And then all the activity stopped, which was really strange. I felt like my stomach dropped and I got like really cold and I just, I felt like I knew that something else came into this room. And I actually started getting like a little bit of anxiety attack and it was weird. And like I felt pressure on my throat and I was like, my eyes were watering. What I felt in that moment is something I've never felt during an investigation before. It felt bad. 
it felt evil. We assumed that it might have been Vincent, which is the guy that murdered the eight kids in the bar. Apparently when he shows up, other spirits will go away, and that's exactly what it felt like. Like, we felt like the kid just left, and like all the happiness was just sucked out of our souls. I feel like my back is exposed. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right after I said my back is exposed. Oh my god. Right when we walked in, I said terrified. I was like, oh my god. Great. Ow, I just got a fucking so shooting pain in my lower back. That's I'm it's not in your back. In my lower back. Yeah. That's what people experience up here. Oh god. Please don't touch me. All right. I want to know. If Vincent's here. I heard you killed eight kids in this barn. Anniversary. Is this the anniversary of when you killed one of the kids? Can you touch Tara? Us. Who are we speaking with right now? Family. Family. Stay out. Right now. <laughs> Outside. Why should we stay out? Paige. But you always say your name, dude. This is me. What's, What's your name? name? Downstairs. Why don't you come upstairs? Paige. What do you want from Paige? Is this someone I know? Sorry, the settings are really fucked. Someone's coming. <laughs> Why does it say you come upstairs? Who's coming? Is it is it Vincent? Who's coming upstairs? Coming. Tell me your name. Request. Yeah, I request for you to come upstairs. Come please. Gonna Get happen. out. We're not getting out. Myself. So. Get out. Are you afraid of us? I heard something over there. Family, you guys. Dying. Please help me. No, Don't speak. The kids. I hurt them. Oh my god. What did you do to them? I'm stuck. I'm hurting. Is this a child? Dying. Someone's coming. Again? What? I have them. Kids. She said kids. What did you do to the kids? Smile, please. Tommy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Are you happy what you did to those kids? Does that make you happy? I'm behind you. Can you touch me? Paige. Can you touch Paige? I think that's something in the pole. <laughs> Probably is. Run. Run for what? Not Full stop. She's smart. Kill them. Kill who? Page. <laughs> She's broken. <laughs> Lights. Light. Light. That was weird. Miss them. End it. Michael. Michael's bad. I love you. I heard that through the headphones. <laughs> yeah. Legitimate, angry, angry. What is that dark entity here? There's oh so God. many different distressed voices. I can't make out what they're saying. Run. Vincent. Where are you going? Really? 
Where are you at, Vincent? Down, down, down. Be with him. I need you out. Please. Amen. Could be kids' names. Michael, David. There's so many of them. Yeah, my back hurts, so. The well? The well in the basement. What about the well? Something in the well? There's eight. <gasps> Run away. What? Help. Michael. Someone's laughing hysterically. It's gotta be Vincent. Yeah, it's the boys. Vincent, you asshole. The boys? Was it all boys? I think so. Leave. It's only saying boy names, too. Crying. Yeah, I heard that. They're not safe. They're not safe. Hey, sir. Get out, please. Please get out. That one. You. Her. What's her name? Dude, my back is like my whole spine is aching. What would you like to do to people when they come up here? I will fight. Want to try and try as a fight and stuff when people come up here? Where are the where are the kids buried at? We don't like that. Where are the kids buried at? I'm not here. You're toxic. I said forward. But that's forward in our direction. The kids are buried back there. Where are the kids buried at? Hi. The earth. <laughs> Tired. Eight. Were all the kids that were murdered, were they all boys? You. She's a medium. Creature. No, that no. one. This time on you. Who's a medium? You're pretty psychic. There's so many voices. Yeah. Yeah, it's creepy looking back here. Can your eyes adjust? Probably like surrounding them. We're here. When we she just said we're here and you said we're surrounding, we're surrounding them. us. I was gonna say when you investigate, do you feel things? Oh yeah. With the energy? Or, yeah. Okay. Who's here with us? Give us a name. Stupid. You suck. <laughs> You're rude. You're an asshole. I heard you know you are too. No. I think you are. Killing eight kids. What's wrong with you? There's a lot of swearing. Can you feel a blood vessel? Save her. I thought I heard a Save step. Her. That wasn't you. No, I didn't move. I, I have her. I heard a step back there. I thought that was you. It's oh, her birthday. Matthews. See your phone. Matthew. What's another boy's name? Grab her. Get her. I just missed that. You missed it. She said my name. These people are stupid. They're playing. Dead. I swear I keep hearing stuff back there. Basement. We were just in the basement. Nothing happened. You weren't there. Don't go there. Trap. It's a little kid um, said bad man here. I have to get them? No. Wait a minute. Let her be. It seems like they're all going to talk to each other. They are 20. Plus kids. All eight. Ooh. Five. Dead are many. This is secret. The eight. What about the eight? Ooh, very fun. Something's touching my back. You're touching Tara. But I am? Right next to her. It's for her safety. Um, Are you okay? I felt like something pinched me. It might have just been my jacket. Ow, oh, that They really got hurt. him. He's coming up the stairs oh. in the barn. Bro. Ow, oh, that actually really hurt. What? Something she actually pinched you? It felt like something Are you playing? Me. You. <clears throat> I almost dropped Cancel. your camera. Really? Yeah. That's how bad it was? It's like something pinched me. We're gonna have to check. I don't like to be touched. Everyone. Can you hold this? Yeah. I can still feel it. Is it your bracelet? Better not. 
Put down here. Just pinched your skin. Oh, You're getting picked hurt. on. I don't like that. Don't touch me. Hi. We know it. It's cold. This is getting. I'm getting weird yeah, vibes. Stuff Saturday, here. please. Oh, Stuck here. That's pretty sad. Something about water. They keep saying water. Did he drown oh, one of them? Oh my god. I swear I just saw something behind you, Tommy. Uh, you what? I think I just saw something behind you. No way. Behind, like, not this bowl, but the one on the stairs. That thing? Yeah. It's like a full shadow. Do that. We you remain. Like see down there at all. Ohio. It's oh, like I pinch black. Yeah, no, I saw it was like coming up from behind that thing. Behind over there? This board here. We have kids. What? There's eight. What? In the we dark. have them. Hiding in the dark. You <laughs> just said that. Oh my. So God. anxious. No fucking. No. <laughs> Where did you bury the kids? This is good. I feel nauseous. Limbo. Stuck in limbo? It just said I'm stuck. Age. Like, wouldn't here. limbo be like considered like? Limbo, I think it's like, like you get stuck there. You're yeah. lucky. What do you want to? Here, you can take my phone. He has five of them. Otherwise, I'm gonna fall down the stairs. Oh okay. yeah. Are you okay? I can like still like. You know when you pinch yourself and you can still feel it. Yeah. Like later. My back. I can't tell. They're way up there. We are up here. Way up there. Talk. I thought it said top. Knock. knock? You want us to knock? REM pod. What? Touch it. Can you do that? Can you... <gasps> I got full body chills. I literally just demonstrated. I was like, can you do that? Can you step away from the REM Jessica. Pod? No. No. Mood. 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 I hope it's you, Tommy. Martha made me. It's mine. I literally hit it. She I was like, can me. you do this? I stepped away and it did it. It's a secret. Can you step away from that REM pod? There's another one across. Filming. Yeah, we are. You can go touch that one. Should we set it? Yes. Step away. You guys stay here. Cool. Just ran me out of the start. Yeah. Yeah. Love. Right after she said that. Well, I demonstrated. I was like, can you do this? I stepped away and then it went off. You still haven't told us where the kids are buried. My guy. I might take her out because my light's gonna die in ten minutes. And it's really cold. I'm getting sick of it. Yeah, me too. I can't see. Tommy's blown away. <laughs> the red pod was going fucking crazy. How the fuck do I turn this on? I'm, I'm disoriented. That was scary. Like, so clear, like, coming up the stairs in the barn. I was like, pardon? <laughs> Lorna said that no one's ever done an Estes session in the barn, so we didn't really know what we were in for. As soon as we walked upstairs, I had back pain, which was strange. All three of us were getting physically affected. Tommy was saying the same thing about his back hurting. It almost feels like, yeah, like a, you're carrying like a heavy backpack. And then Paige's back started to hurt and Tara's back got touched. So I think that was all too much to be a coincidence. It felt very uneasy. It felt bad in the barn and it just felt like heavy. I hated it. When Tara was doing her Estes session. I heard things come through that even shocked me. Like you'll see in the video that I'm like, like what the? A lot of crazy responses revolving around the kids that were murdered which was pretty crazy, it kept saying eight. Knowing what happened in that barn made me uncomfortable. Like I would have liked to know what was going on around the room. I usually don't do Estes sessions in my personal episodes, but after that, I was like, okay, I might need to give this a try more. I was very shocked. And I've seen them do Estes methods in the past in their previous episodes, and it was almost a similar effect. So I was like, maybe it's just them, but I'm, it's definitely worth giving a shot. I did get a way creepier vibe in the barn than I have during any other Estes session I've ever done. 
I was also seeing things in the barn. I saw a shadow come up on the stairs behind Tommy. Kara saw a full body apparition of a man as we came down to the first floor of the barn on our way out. Just shines a light right here where these doors are. And there was a man standing there. Light went back in their direction, trying to help them get down the stairs. Gone, so very quick, but he was there. So this is the part of the video where we're gonna take the chance to shout out two creators that we love and that you should subscribe to. The first creator we're gonna talk about is Blood Moon Paranormal, which is run by Zach. So the way they film is very documentary style and cinematic. They not only get awesome evidence, but they also take the time to debunk and look at things on a scientific level. So we know that Zach has been doing this for 10 plus years and he's an amazing investigator, he's super respectful, and him and his team just get some amazing evidence and put so much effort and appreciation into the paranormal community. So you should head over and subscribe to Blood Moon Paranormal's channel, watch all their videos, give them the same love that you give to us. So the next creator we want to shout out is Ethan from Wolf Paranormal. Wolf with a U. He's an investigator from Maryland. Ethan has an absolutely phenomenal channel. He puts so much time and effort into his storytelling and he's a great investigator. Not only is Ethan super respectful when he investigates, but he's really good at making connections during the investigation and then post investigation. So Ethan's videos are typically longer than most of ours and it's worth every minute. So head over and subscribe to Wolf Paranormal. That is Wolf with a U and go watch all his videos because he's phenomenal. Working with Tommy amongst the tombstones was absolutely phenomenal and I cannot wait to work with him and his cameraman John again. Sitting there and actually witnessing the stuff that they can put together on camera was mind-blowing and super inspiring. This has been um, in the works for a while and we're finally so happy that we were able to work it out and to get to finally not only meet him but also work with him. So working with Tommy Tombstone, uh, it was freaking amazing. So it's been really cool because I've been watching his videos for a bit and actually get to meet him in person um, and investigate with him. His style is really like hardcore and it's awesome. So it's pretty cool. So make sure you subscribe to Tommy's channel, which is Tommy Amongst the Tombstones. He has one of the most unique editing styles I've ever seen and he really knows how to keep you engaged. So you will not be disappointed if you subscribe to him. Working with Paranormal XP was surreal. It didn't seem real the entire time, and uh, it was amazing. I love it. Working with Cassie and Reese from Weeping Willow was amazing as usual. We worked with them once before, and we absolutely love them. It was a great time, like it always is. We love our fellow Canadians, and we love how they investigate, and it's just good vibes all around. We were so thrilled that Cassie took the invite and decided to come and join us at Chase Manor. Working with Weeping Willow Paranormal again is super surreal. It's just really cool to work with people that, you know, I've known for quite a while and especially to work with my favorite Canadian. So make sure you subscribe to them, Weaving Real Paranormal. Maybe we'll hit up some more Canadian spots together. Working with PXP for the second time was awesome. I really enjoy how you guys investigate and how everything is put together and it's so professional because I'm just let us see in my pants and uh, I just really love it. So. so working with Rochelle G was an absolute pleasure. We had no idea she was going to show up, but when she did, we were very pleasantly surprised and she actually got to join us for our portal session. We we're so happy that we got the opportunity to work with her and make sure that you check out her channel because she's got some very interesting things on there. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to Paranormal XP or Weeping Little Paranormal, you should. And if you don't, then just get off this video. <laughs> I don't know what else you want to say. That was great. <laughs> <laughs>